Why do we need crops for the future? At the moment we depend on just three crops, wheat, rice and maize, to provide more than half of the world's food. If we include all the major agricultural species, they represent a tiny fraction of the biodiversity of the planet, but they must feed over seven billion people. Our agricultural research systems focus on increasing the yields and the quality of these crops. And of course, they're often grown on the best soils as monocultures with inputs, fertilizers and irrigation. Question is, are these few crops and their products alone sufficient to feed 7 billion people on the planet now and the rising population up to 9 billion people in the volatile and unpredictable climates of the future. At the moment, our agri-food systems depend on just these few crops and their many products to move them vast distances from their centers of production to new markets a long way from where they're grown. Can we depend on these vulnerable supply chains to feed and sustain populations in different parts of the world from where those crops are actually grown. The question is, are these crops and their products sufficient for climates of the future? Now, throughout our history, human beings have grown many thousands of plants for their food and non-food needs. Many of these unutilized plants have the potential to be crops for the future. The question is, which? And how should we find out? For this we need research, but that research cannot be just in fields and laboratories and glasshouses. It must be with the people who grow these crops, the communities who use them, and we must link their research and their knowledge with our own technologies that we can actually apply to improve these crops for climates of the future. Maybe we have to be smarter about agriculture for future climates. Why not find new products and markets for food crops that can grow and yield on poor soils without high inputs? Why not diversify our diets with innovative products and cuisines from local fruits and vegetables that are rich in micronutrients? At the moment, we capture fish from the oceans and feed them to fish in aquaculture farms. Why not replace this fish meal with insect meal from insects grown on underutilized plants and replace the major food crop ingredients in fish feeds with ingredients from locally sourced underutilized crops? Why not expand beyond the monocultures that now dominate world agriculture to include multiple cropping systems that are both productive and resilient to climate shocks. Finally, why not share and link the knowledge of communities about their own crops with new research and development projects that can help diversify food systems around the world? Many of the world's underutilized crops have the potential to be crops for the future in climates of the future. To find out which crops for the future need support.